we are back with another video here on the Anvil Racing Channel. Today, we are over at one of Ben's buddy's shops, and Ben's got his car up in the air because he, he's been in a project pretty heavy at this point. Well, let me turn this camera around and show you what we got here. So Ben's got some boxes here. So big, we're gonna start it off with the big Ooh. supercharger. We got a Vortec V3. It's got the heritage gear set. I think that just kind of makes kind of it. that classic Fox body whiny. Yep. Old yep. supercharger sound. And then it's also what self-contained, so there's no oil system Correct, needing to be yeah. set up. Just got to change the oil in your supercharger now. Super sweet. Brian's over here. Then we got a whole nother box of all the accessories and charge pipe and stuff. But look at that, nice. Killer. What's like the placard say? Serial number. 75504 Heritage. That's six. They've made 75,000 of these things. Sweet. All right. Well, yeah, since we're still, he's, he's still waiting on parts for his transmission. And so we're actually just going to lower the car down and work on seeing how far we can get on putting this thing together. It's actually way more simple than, uh, than a turbo kit would be just because there's not as much piping. There's no intercooler. You can get one. I'm sure if you have, you know, cooling yeah. issues from charge pipes with bungs already welded on, so that's nice. Yeah, Anderson power pipe. Big old thing, nice. So sick. And then just have couplers, belts. Comes with the uh, bracket to kind of move the alternator down. Bump that around. Nice. Filter. Nice USA hose clamps, Poly people. map sensor. <laughs> Bar map, new belt. Good stuff. And where'd you pick this stuff up at? Uh, Anderson. Ford yep. Motorsports. Anderson Motorsports. Oh, definitely. So swap out the crank pulley. That's one of the first steps. Yeah, we can get started with these instructions here. So, we'll basically just be pulling the crank pulley off down there, putting on the new Vortec pulley. Woo! Gotta find that there. And then from there, um, I guess I can get to work pulling this uh, alternator bracket and tensioner off. That shouldn't be too hard. So we'll get that out of the way here. Holy. So yeah, main bracket assembly. That'll probably be where we start next. Yeah, what are these self tappers, like old eight? Uh, maybe quarter inch. Alternator bracket off, belt off. Ben's got the impact getting the crank pulley off. I'll show you what we're putting on here. The double deck bad boy. Dang. What is that, a seven rib belt? Maybe eight. Eight rib? Eight rib. Sheesh. Look at this thing. Thick boy. It's 54.5 inches, eight ribs. So you can always just go to the store and buy that belt. That's Don't sweet. forget it, folks. Yeah. Totally slick. Slick back. Dang. Full megaphone action here. We got a little bit of blue Loctite on her. All right. So Ben's sitting these down here. Give them the last pulley bolts a little zap. All right. So we're following the instructions on the supercharger kit pretty close. And next, we need to get the fuel system straightened out. So Ben's throwing in a nice... Air motor 340 pump. Same one I'm running in the, uh, I don't even know if you call it Project Stormtrooper, I guess. I got two black box bodies now. But anyway. Yeah, no, we just picked it up last Saturday. Oh, you did? Yeah, no, I, I have another black one, um, but we picked this one up. This is my girlfriend's car now. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's a nice car. No, it is. Uh, yeah, came over. Help Ben Since throw this stuff it. together as far as we can while he's yeah. waiting for other parts, but I think we'll have the supercharger mounted up here pretty soon. Oh, that'd be awesome. Oh, yeah. That'd be awesome. Get that out of your hair and gas in. Yep. Easy peasy. Cool, excellent. 
Well, yeah, you got that all mounted up. Black to black, red to red, huh? Yeah, it's easy. Yep, insulator, everything, all good. So, we got the, got the pump wired in, locking her down. Fuel system's pretty much complete. Lock Sweet. In. Looking good. All we gotta do is just clean up some threads here before throwing this bracket back on, but we're looking good. Got some food, some bomb ass burgers. While Brian and I were gone grabbing a belt, um, we ended up needing to snag a smog pump delete pulley, which was on Monica's car. And that worked out perfect. Got a shorter belt on Monica's car and Ben's utilizing the smog pump pulley here. So that's good. Ben also got the supercharger pulley on he had to heat up the pulley in order for it to slide around the shaft, and so now it is all torqued. Good to go. One step closer here. I'm gonna have to do a double. He's got the crazy double tensioner set up there, so we'll have to see what that's all good. All right, so Ben's got the supercharger all mounted up here. Got the brackets all in line. He, uh, ben had a brain fart moment and was trying to mount the supercharger wrong. Was getting all fussy about it, but <laughs> he overcame it. We figured it out. He figured it out before talking we'll later. <laughs> before sending him an email saying they sent us the wrong bracket. Oh, yeah. Saved himself from even more embarrassment, but complete humiliation. V3, baby. Heritage gear set. It's gonna be noisy. It's got the upper radiator hose all dialed in. This goes on here. He goes there. He's gonna have to drill and tap a bung there to uh, get a intake air temperature sensor. You have to clearance this. Yeah, cut this out. More stuff to do while you wait for parts though. Bang, bang, and bang, bang. After all the trials and tribulations and all the belt configurations, somehow. V3 supercharger. We. Got this thing in here. All right, we are back over here. Finishing up Ben's car. He's been hard at work. He's got all the pieces to his transmission. Um, new drive shaft. Got the transmission installed. Got the full supercharger kit installed. We're at the point where we are priming the fuel system, checking for leaks. And then we just got to upload a base tune onto it. Get this thing fired up. Let's do it. First power adder startup ever on the Anibal Racing Channel. So we're primed up here. I do not see any leaks on the driver's side bank. I do not see any leaks on the passenger side bank. You didn't touch any of the... Oh, I guess the injectors came off, yeah? Yeah. 44 pounds of pressure. Oh, fine time. Let's get the um, vacuum out real quick and suck up all these shavings everywhere. It's where it sucks it right in the filthy. Yep. Good idea. All right. All right. So now we just got to get the wizard going on here. So we'll go key on. Just creating another global pile real quick. And then yeah. we can pull it up on the uh, pull it up on the old laptop. Make sure the IAC control and all that's set up right. We're back again, folks. Foam. Wizards. GCF wizard, multi-point or multi-port fuel injection. Gonna go down. 
937 F kit. Definitely nice. Four to five liter. The other one's like an FE motor, like mm -hmm. 390s and stuff. Can't choose. 302. It's crazy the scaling up to a 2000 cubic inch. <laughs> I don't know. I guess, but I guess. Idle like, speed. Probably like 800. 800. Oh, it's like almost 235. I remember you telling me that as well, but. I thought so. Yeah, yeah. 43. Holly. Biggest one. Supercharger. Holly 2 bar. From the power adder lift. Yep. Mm. This eliminates one. 32. 12.5. 12. 12. <laughs> 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 1. Max it. Okay. This. That's it. Nice. Nice. <laughs> so now it's just uploading this to your SD card and then you cycle the ignition to complete the operation. Fini I clicked finish. Uh, yep. And then I go to Wizards. A little auto set action. Well, you pulled it like that's exactly what's on the ECU. So I'd go to like the engine parameters for your IAT control. That's what that is. Uh, no, the EFI right here. So BE based, yep. Injectors 48, yep, exactly. One millisecond, that all looks good. Fuel pressure targets 43. There's your spark, that's like your timing. And so, yeah, that's crazy. It just looks so vague. You know, like but this is GM LSX. Yep. GM, so it's still fucked up there. That? So yep. So we switched up the five liter Ford IAC control here to the pulse width modulated. 315 is the frequency that I've gotten from all the other remote tuners. Now, if you make any changes to this, you'll want a USB link again to put put the you know your changes onto the ECU. Just saving it will save the file. Oh, right, right. But your ECU is still not updated, so you guys uh, should remember that. Yep. All right, so Ben's got the initial adjustments on the Holly made. We're just going to cycle Look the key one more time. When it starts because then the injection's going to be fired. Yep. You're right. Start it up. Right. Cigarette man. <laughs> I know, but it's going to be over here in a second. Yeah, you want to turn it on? USB linked. Passed. So now we're live. So what am I looking for here? AFRs. Okay. And what Thanks. am I wanting it to be at? Anything 15 and lower. If it goes higher than 15. If it's like, yeah, because it might need to wake up for a second, you know? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'd give it like 10 seconds. Okay. And it should be somewhat okay. It should idle. I mean, honestly, your idle target set at 800. All right, ready? Go for it. All right, so we couldn't be more jazzed up, but we noticed yeah, right off the bat, it's uh, a little, fuel pressure it. is, um, oh yeah, fuel pressure is a little high and it's running a little rich. So before we start really trying to dial in the tuning for the fueling at idle, we're going to make sure we got proper fuel pressure. And then we got to get a heat cycle in this thing just to double check uh, base timing and a couple other things before we even 
think about driving it. But uh, yeah, I'd say probably another 20 minutes or so, we're gonna have this thing probably going on its first test drive. It fired up within a few seconds. The Holly bass tune, obviously we're not looking to build boost or anything. We've definitely been warned by people who know not to do that. And so we're just excited that it fired right up. Ben nailed it. Everything's looking good. Absolutely fantastic. Dang. Ben's got some cracked hoses and crap. Oh, dude. You need just some good old maintenance on this thing. We've got like thousands and thousands of dollars in upgrades, and he's rocking like factory vacuum lines over here. <laughs> All right, so now that we got Ben's car up and running, um, they went to take off to go get some burgers, and so they left me with... Uh, making a kind of a base timing map here. And uh, we're definitely making some progress. It's looking better. Uh, we got our guy, uh, Matt Harrison here from Leech Motorsports. Um, he's walking us through a little YouTube video here on setting up a good little conservative timing map. All right, so we got the, got the tune up somewhat dialed. Ben's gonna try out the transmission and drive train. Oh, tires are moving. Not a peak. Ben's gonna take her out on her maiden voyage. We got it up to temperature. I'm gonna go let it learn a little bit and come back and probably just, uh... Look at that! Woo! What's the compensation? 1%? 5? It's gonna be pretty erratic. But you gotta let it, let it go do its thing. Oh, you're all the way in. How's that? Woo! Hell yeah! The baddest car in the Enable Racing fleet. Hell, son! Get out! Dougie's loving it. Hell yeah. A couple <laughs> small little passes. Yeah. Just get it tuned in. Yeah. Exactly. we're back test drive went super well um we kind of got caught up once we got back to the shop and so i forgot to film an outro to this video so i'm gonna cover it now um basically ben's been working on the car over the last couple of weeks working out some of the kinks that came along with uh installing it mainly he's been battling a, a fuel pressure issue he's actually making too much fuel pressure so he's got that ironed out we're gonna get some good content on his car but Exciting news is we've already got the turbo kit installed on Project Stormtrooper, so we're gonna have tons of content coming out on that. You know, we're just out here trying to make the Fox Body world a better place. 
If you like what you're seeing, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We got exciting stuff coming up, so you don't want to miss it. Stay tuned, and as always, stay ripping.